What's up, fellow YouTubers? Got me a pinch of that lucky lipper waiting for uh, my Etsy money to come in. I do appreciate my fans buying out the wands. Now, um, the fan who uh, bought the scepter, they were like, they have a date coming up and they was wondering if I could include a bar of tactical soap to go with their scepter and I said yeah I can do that I try to include something nice for um, the fans who order more expensive wands but Hunter Avalon made a video basically saying Kanye West wants to become president oh This is some bullshit, dude. I mean, the world's full of effed up things, but holy crap. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, Kanye West is a famous rapper married to Kim Kardashian. And, um, the, yes, that very same Kanye West that said he don't read no books, or however he said it. The very same Kanye West who belittled a wheelchair-bound fan in front of millions of people made everyone stand up at one of his concerts because he had a speech to give. And I'm over here like, okay, you're, you're nothing special, dude. You're just a douche. And you're egotistical as... And then he literally made concert security check to make sure that that person really was handy capable I shit you not dude and he wants to become president when he has no political experience but literally Kanye West just said 400 years of slavery was a choice this was an interview he did on TMZ on CNN on May 4th, 2018, which is about two years ago. And you hear him say this crap and you're like, what kind of drugs are you on, man? You're just like, w what? You hear about slavery for 400 years? For 400 years? That sounds like a choice. He said it. You was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? You know, like, it's like we're, we're mentally imprisoned. You were mentally imprisoned? Um, dude, we're men you're, you're mentally imprisoned in your ego. Hey, everyone listen to this, please. Two days before I was in the hospital, I was on opioids. I was addicted to opioids. I had plastic surgery because I was trying to look good for y'all. I got liposuction because I didn't want y'all to call me fat. Jesus fucking Christ. When he was running, it's like I felt <sighs> the fact that he won, it's like it proved something. It proved that anything is possible. When I see an outsider infiltrate, I connect with that. Uh, I might be president one day. No. You know, so... No. I might be in that situation where... It's harder for me to explain to the masses why something isn't happening, that they feel that the concept of a president should be able to fix. Okay. So that explains his delusion, YouTube. He was on opioids and addicted to them for the last two days before that interview. And on top of that, he gives a shit way too much about what people think. Seriously, Kanye, your boy Trump gets a lot of hatred in the media. Kanye West got super pissed off when South Park called him a gay fish, called his wife a hobbit. He didn't like that one stinking bit. 
and you want to become president? Kanye West's ego is so fragile that he's sitting there addressing people at TMZ like, okay, everybody, listen up, listen up. I got this life of suction to look good for you. Acting like he's going through this struggle when he's really just being a douchey celebrity. Sitting there saying, I was addicted to opioids, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, you're dumb, dude. No one gives a shit. The fact that, um, you know, you care so much about the way you look shows you're just like the rest of us. That aside, I feel like there's way too much pressure on women and men to look a certain way. And if women think they're the only ones who go through that shit, look at what Kanye West just said. Sitting there like he's just did the greatest thing. Like, it's stupid, dude. But then he manages to say something rather interesting. He was talking about how Trump got elected. He says when he sees an outsider infiltrate the system and and cause a movement and make it happen it speaks to him now whether you support Trump or not I actually agree with that when you have an outsider or an outcast that supports you or you support them whatever you know and they make a difference man Okay, Kanye, if you want to become the next president, you're going to have to wait for another four to eight years before you can do that. If you want to increase your chances of becoming a politician, it would help to spend the next four years studying politics so when the next election cycle comes up, you can run for Senate in your local state of California. And then when you run for Senate, and if you actually win, and you have to give a speech or talk about changes. Don't sit there and get off track with your egotistical bullshit, self-obsessed BS. I'll tell you what, YouTube, it's ridiculous. The very same Kanye West that belittled a fan in a wheelchair that says he ain't reading no books, or he don't read no books. If you want to become the next president and increase your chances, read a couple dictionaries. Okay? Get a plethora of words in your vocabulary that makes you sound a lot more educated than you really are. I mean, you hear, you hear him make that, that comment about slavery, and you're just like, oh, look, you're kind of like Nuka Zeus, minus the fact you're not trying to dye your skin white like Michael Jackson, and minus the fact that, um, you know, you're not super violent towards your own race, but you're just ignorant. And here's the thing of it, YouTube. People like Rosa Parks didn't fight for civil rights just to have a douche like Kanye West crap all over his own ancestors like that, dude. It's extremely ignorant. And he, the look on the interviewer's face, like you see the black dude sitting next to Kanye like, is this dude for real right now? And then you see the, he looks really uncomfortable, dude. And then you see the host of TMZ going, as soon as Kanye West turns around to address everyone in the room. And everyone else in the room is just like, they don't pay us enough at TMZ to put up with this shit. Oh. Because you know the interviewer, the, the main dude who does the interviews at TMZ, you know he loves his job. When the idiot celebrities come in, he's just like, uh, 
Let the cringe begin. Let's see what stupid shit comes out of their mouth. This this ought to be fun. I mean, Kanye West's ignorance is so vast and immense that even Trump looks uncomfortable when he's wearing the Make America Great Again hat. Half of that's because of the way Trump grew up, and the other half is because, well, yeah. Ouch. You watch the interview with Donald Trump and Kanye West, and uh, Trump looks a little uncomfortable, you could tell. Partly because of the way he grew up, and partly because... Kanye West is kind of a dumbass. I mean, kind of would be an understatement. Not to mention that, you know, like I said, you know how grateful your slave ancestors would be, Kanye, to have your money, your privilege? They'd be thrilled. They'd be like... They wouldn't know what to think. They'd be overwhelmed with happiness if they had your money and your wealth and your freedom in your celebrity status. I mean, man, you, you could literally sit around the pool of your million dollar mansion if you wanted to and not give a shit. You know? I'm just saying. You can afford to buy a multi-million dollar ranch in Cody, Wyoming. Not because you want to be a ranch hand, but because you want a vacation home. And then you try to build an amphitheater in the back of your ranch's property without getting a proper building permit, without getting a building permit, without getting permission from the city of Cody. Okay, you can't just do things without due process. There's a process to it. Like I said, Kanye, if you want to become the next president, spend the next four to eight years studying politics, educating yourself, and becoming a better person, you know, learning to care about people besides yourself and your wife and your fans, or the ones you think are important enough. What's the worst they're going to say, YouTube? Oh, and I, I'm not trying to attack Kanye West. I'm giving him some advice. And furthermore, like I said, Trump gets so much crap in our society. He gets a lot of haters. And, um, you know, I don't think Kanye West's fragile eagle could handle that, that level of, you know, Considering when South Park ripped on him and his wife, he got super pissed off. Meanwhile, I'm like, you know what? South Park did an episode on Asperger's where Stan Marsh had Asperger's, and that shit made me laugh. That shit made me laugh my Asperger's off. I'm like, South Park made fun of my own disorder, and I laughed at it, because it made me feel a part of it. You know, and that's how you should see a show like that. But people get way too offended by South Park anymore. And it's like, well, you can choose to get offended or you can look at it as, hey, I'm a part of it now. If South Park does a new season, could you imagine the, um, the coronavirus episodes? Oh my God, dude. Savage. I can only imagine. I mean, seriously, Kanye... They made fun of Trump pretty hard on South Park. They had Mr. Garrison playing Trump with his um, first lady being Caitlyn Jenner because South Park gives no fucks how edgy they go with their sense of humor. And you're sitting there, like if you get offended when a cartoon makes fun of you, imagine when Fox News makes fun of you or CNN makes fun of you or Stephen Colbert makes fun of you, you know? Are you going to be able to handle it? Or are you going to be sitting there going all pissed off and, this bullshit. I'm a musical genius. 
And now I'm the president, too, on top of it. It's disrespectful. So seriously, Kanye, if you support Trump, then vote for him in the elections, and then spend the next four to eight years learning how to become a good politician that's, that's good for America, not corrupt. Because you can't, you can't just enter the elections this late in the race. It doesn't work like that, dude. You gotta, you gotta go around campaigning and asking people for your votes. So educate yourself, get a plethora of words in your vocabulary to make yourself sound more distinguished and intelligent. Um, get some compassion, tone down on the ego, stop being a douche, educate yourself, read a couple books, study politics, you know? And if you want to look good, look good for yourself and for your wife. Don't give a shit about looking good for everyone else. You'll feel a lot better mentally when you do that, trust me. And fuck plastic surgery, dude. If you want to look good, exercise and eat right. Sure, it takes longer, but it's way, it's a lot less expensive. I mean, shit, you're living out in California, in Los Angeles. That's like the capital of vegan food and eating healthy and that's all the craze out there, man. Guacamole and such. Guacamole is delicious. Put that shit on a bacon cheeseburger. Oh. Beside the point. That being said, yeah, celebrities do get crap for the way they look just like anyone else. You know, you, you look at Kim Kardashian, for instance, Kanye's wife. Maybe she's going for a jog down the street. She's wearing a low-cut shirt. So she doesn't get boob sweat. Just like any other female, boob sweat's a thing. That's why women will go braless and wear a low cut shirt in the summertime because it gets hot outside. But she might get crap because other women will slut shame her because they're jealous of her fame. And it's just like. Yeah, part of it's because you want to say that she's setting an unfair body type standard. But now you can't say that because women have a body positive movement. I'm serious. So that being said, men don't have a body positive movement. They're expected to be gross, hairy, and disgusting. So expecting someone to be gross, hairy, and disgusting versus expecting someone to always be their prettiest. Both of those are what men and women have to go through. Women are expected to be their prettiest and yeah, it has detrimental consequences to both genders. There's all this pressure to look a certain way. And it's so bad that Kanye West literally said, and I quote, he was addicted to opioids and plastic surgery because he wanted to look good for y'all. I'm sitting here like, dude. Tell you what. Let's see, almost 12 o'clock noon, that's not too early and not too late. Uh, let's um, adjust the sound to make sure that, um, so if I play guitar for this video, it doesn't um, blow out the speakers or... Yeah, sitting here dipping some Lucky Lipper, waiting for my Etsy money to get in. Do appreciate that. Thank you for those of you who bought them.
just showing off. I tell you what, if I was president of the United States of America, I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd legalize pot. Tax the fuck out of it. I'd legalize cocaine and regulate it. So it's not being cut with nasty, unsafe shit. There's no gang violence, there's no overdoses. Just really clean, all natural. Any drug that was plant-based would be legal. Things like crystal meth and heroin would stay illegal. I'd legalize prostitution, regulate the fuck out of it. So sex workers had to be 21 and up. And the people getting it had to be 21 and up, and they had to provide proof of clean STI check, and they must use protection. I'm serious. You can. Well, I don't. I don't know too many guys that wouldn't complain about that, dude. You're down on your luck. You haven't had a girlfriend, so you go to the whorehouse and pay forty dollars for a blowjob. You put a condom on, and you're done. Twenty of that goes to the sex worker, ten of that goes to the government, and ten of that goes to the whorehouse. And then the sex workers would have to like literally get STI checks every like every two weeks or so, every two to three days, like yeah. You want to stop you want to stop sex trafficking, legalize prostitution and regulate the fuck out of it. That's what I'm saying. Those pimps start becoming bodyguards if you catch my drift. Ridiculous. I'd issue gun control that is smarter, not stricter. Stricter background checks for assault rifles. The way I see it, because the AR-15 shoots a pistol round, you should have to be 21 and up to buy it, regardless if it's a rifle or not. Tell you what, if you're not in a hurry to get it, then you're not going to mind having a stricter background check. That's the way I see it. But yeah, going back to the Kanye West thing, like I said, dude, if you want to be president, you have that ability. African Americans back in the uh, slave days didn't even have rights. They couldn't become president if they wanted to. And you want to sit there and crap all over your own ancestry like that. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Anyways, YouTube, thanks for watching the rant. Um, keep fighting the good fight, you know, and uh, I'll catch you cool cobras later.